Hello Virgo, it's Light Tarot Readings here, and this reading is going to be a love reading, just checking up on the current energies and looking to see if there is going to be any romantic movement, either now or in the nearby future. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my deck. What is coming towards Virgo when it comes to love? What is coming towards Virgo? when it comes to love. Oh, okay. Right away, you have the Ace of Cups. That is a romantic offer. Someone wanting to express their feelings. See, this is the water pouring out. Um, something occurs that will nurture this connection, cause it to grow, cause it to flourish in the future. You have the Hermit coming out. So this can be someone who was holding it within right this is someone who is kind of in isolation reflecting upon something and i feel that needed to happen in order for the ace of cups energy to come through right because you have the nine of wands this is uh someone who is feeling a bit defensive okay you have the king of wands Okay, so that can symbolize a passionate connection, someone you truly see as attractive, and I feel vice versa. I feel that they see you as someone who is very attractive, and I feel that there is this intense, almost chemistry, like a magnetic attraction between you two, and I feel that possibly this connection was so strong between you two that it caused this defensive energy from them because it was like they were fighting this connection, right? But with the Ace of Cups, they can't fight it anymore. Okay, you have Destiny coming out, which is Will of Fortune in traditional tarot. So with Destiny, that can truly signify a connection that is meant to be. Uh, things are unfolding the way it is meant to unfold. Okay, you have the Temperance. So again, with the Wheel of Fortune, so typically the Wheel of Fortune is about one cycle ending and then causing something new to come out of that, okay? But with the Temperance, that is about patience, and I feel that you have been patiently waiting for your person to really make that romantic offer, that romantic gesture. You have the Seven of Cups coming out. That is a card of fantasies. Uh, possibly this connection has caused you to kind of overthink and even fantasize about the things they would say if they were to come forward and everything like that. And it has, yeah, so this is another card of overthinking and not wanting to let go of certain expectations you have for this connection. And I feel that is necessary in order for this to flow about, right? You have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is a very like stable nature. Uh, it's someone who is grounded or wants to become grounded. This can be wanting to build a foundation, a stronger foundation than it has or than it was in the past. You have the Page of Swords. This is breaking Free, breaking out of a past energy and into a new opportunity or beginning okay you have the five of swords coming out so this is this this card kind of flew out and it's interesting how you have the page of swords facing the five of swords because this is a card of conflict and specifically with this imagery I always get the sense of someone kind of feeling trapped, but you have the swords around that one golden sword kind of crumbling away, okay? And beneath the golden sword, you have flowers. So that is what I picked up on the beginning or in the beginning, how this relationship will be progressing and flourishing in the future. But see, there's these, this can be external forces or even just their own perspective, their own mindset that they need to shift out of 
which they are doing, right? They are breaking free, breaking out of this. Okay, wanting to create, like I said, that stable foundation in order for the cycle to turn. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups. It's interesting because when I when I pulled the Seven of Cups right here, I was thinking about the Nine of Cups. Uh, see, when I first got this deck, I kept confusing the two. Um, I was confusing the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups because for me, like, I feel that fantasizing and kind of imagining something or what you want to achieve in life, right? This imagery kind of encapsulates that, but it is also about like wish fulfillment and kind of knowing that you will be able to achieve what you are fantasizing about. Okay, so for me in this deck, uh, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is I feel that these two cards are a bit connected. So it is great to see them come out together. Okay, and uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna go pull some cards, see if there's any messages or direct messages that your person wants to tell you right now, just to finish off this reading, okay? So what does Virgo's person want to tell them right now. Okay, I want to make amends. Yeah, which is what will be coming through with that Ace of Cups. I feel that, as I said, them expressing themselves and truly coming forward with that romantic offer and wanting this new beginning within the connection, that is them making amends and kind of uh, making it better from how things were in the past. You have, I compare others to you. Okay, that's interesting because, you know, the Four of Pentacles came out and that can also be someone not wanting to let go of a connection. And I feel that this is your person, right? I feel that they cannot let you go, that you're someone incredibly special as I picked up on that magnetic attraction, that intense chemistry you have towards one another, this deep, almost understanding you have when you're around one another they definitely don't see that in another person or they can't find that in another person i feel that you are the one for them or that is how they see you at this moment okay you have i have too much to lose so i see this i i feel the message and everything and it brings me back to what i was saying with the five of swords that conflict the external internal forces so part of those external forces it could have to do with not wanting to lose something in their life or feeling like they will lose something if they were to progress with you this can be them losing focus on their goals sometimes that fear can remain in someone and kind of prevent a connection from truly progressing because someone is worried that if they pursue love, then it will affect other aspects like their finances and work or education. They worry that it will affect their life, right? And this is also about them opening up and worrying about that. And it's interesting, I was talking and saying all that while holding, I need, I need security, which, you know, everything I was saying, it is kind of like signifying a, an energy that is feeling a bit insecure right now. And, you know, that is another thing that they will be breaking free out of. And that could also be another one of those swords when it comes to, oops, sorry, when it comes to, oh, I just like lost my train of thought. Okay. When it comes to internal forces, right, it's that insecurity is something else that they will be breaking out of. Okay, and how about one more message? Okay, you have, you didn't see my tears. And at the bottom of the deck, I feel so happy with you. Yeah, so your person is, uh, they just, you have brought on so many different types of emotions 
And I feel that this connection has really caused them to see things in a different perspective. And this is just about like their life in general, right? And I feel that if you two have kind of separated or gone your own separate ways at, those, at this moment, or there's no communication, I feel that it has really been hitting your person hard and they've been thinking about and kind of just stuck in their own mind about how to move forward and create this new beginning with you. This new opportunity is coming your way in terms of this connection, okay? And I do see them expressing themselves, truly, truly expressing themselves and being honest with you about how they feel and where they want to see this relationship go, okay? And by doing so, I feel that it will cause this relationship to take the next step. Uh, this can be them really committing to you, okay? And that is about it for this reading. I hope you have a great day or night. Thank you so much for watching and much love.